what is up, Saxy Beast? Crazy Rabbit here, and I want to say like three years ago, I actually made a video for each individual staff on Round 50, and I didn't like those videos. I thought they were shit in all honesty, and since I just went to Round 50 on Origins and got a bunch of new footage for the staffs, I thought we might as well update those videos and combine all the staffs into one, because why the fuck not? So the first one we're going to be looking at is going to be the Ice Staff, which I'm pretty sure we can all agree is the best one, especially if you want to go to high rounds. You can either half charge it or fully charge it, really wouldn't recommend fully charging it unless you're like staring at a max ammo, because in all honesty it's just kind of a waste of those three extra shots. So definitely half charging it is the way to go, it's still always going to be able to kill zombies, I think really the only difference is the Blizzard is a little bit smaller and it doesn't last as long, but still you can definitely kill a lot of zombies with that half charge shot and that's the one I would recommend. Really the only thing I don't like about this staff is it doesn't kill the zombies like right away. When those zombies actually get in that blizzard, they still have like a second or two to where they can actually hit you. So they're not going to die instantly, but they still will eventually die. So sometimes if you're about to get overwhelmed by zombies, you really do have to be careful with this staff because those zombies aren't going to die right away, and they might be able to get a couple swipes in on you before they actually do die. So the best way I can tell you to use this staff is if you're camping in a corner just to constantly have a blizzard out. Don't wait until that first blizzard actually goes away to start charging for your second one. As soon as you think that first blizzard's about to end, get your second one out. You want to constantly be having a blizzard out, so that way the zombies really don't even stand a chance when they're coming at you. And if you're actually like cycling or anything, just one blizzard will be fine. Just round them all up, shoot it, run them through it. You're going to be good. You're going to be able to get a lot of kills. So the next staff we're going to be looking at is going to be the wind staff. So I really do like the wind staff, mainly just for the fact that when you actually fully charge it or half charge it, anything around you is just going to like immediately disappear. This thing can kill really, really fast. Now, unfortunately, when you only half charge it, it's kind of just like a thunder gun shot and everything in front of you just disappears. But when you fully charge it, you actually get like this tornado effect. Now the tornado's radius isn't as big as the blizzard's radius, and it's kind of hard to see where the tornado is exactly because really the only thing that indicates where it's at is like these floating little rocks and everything, and those can kind of be hard to see. So it's really hard to know exactly where like the safe spot to stand is when you actually use this tornado. And in all honesty, I don't think it's as effective as the blizzard. The blizzard has a much bigger radius, and I think it might last a little bit longer, and it costs less ammo. And the wind staff doesn't carry as much ammo as the ice staff to begin with, so definitely the better choice is going to be the ice staff if you want to camp. Maybe if you're actually running like a train or something where the thought of you getting cornered is a constant threat. Maybe the wind staff might be a little bit better for you, but I just think in general the ice staff is the best staff. But the wind staff is still really, really good, and I definitely enjoy it. And when it comes to like my favorite ones, this one and the ice staff are definitely tied. So the next staff we're going to be looking at is going to be the Fire Staff. Now the Fire Staff is really, really good. The only real downside about this is it kind of glitches your game out once you get to like a high enough round. I believe it's like the 70s or 80s. Somewhere around there, if you try to use the Fire Staff, your game will glitch out. I think that might just be for consoles. I don't know if that's for PC. But besides that, the Fire Staff is really, really powerful. When you fully charge it, basically what's going to happen is you're going to shoot a bunch of like lava puddles on the ground. And if the zombies run over those lava puddles, they're basically just going to catch on fire and eventually die. If you have charge it, the amount of lava puddles you actually can shoot out is going to be limited. So whether you're going to fully charge it or half charge it, it really all kind of depends on which strategy you're running. If the zombies are going to be more spread out, you might want to fully charge it, just that way you can get more lava puddles out. If you're camping, you might be able to get away with only half a shot. Really the only downside about the fire staff is its accuracy, like you have to get those zombies to run over those lava puddles or else it's really not going to be able to do anything. So it's not like the blizzard where it just like takes over an entire area or like the tornado. With the fire staff, you have to have like the zombies behind you and then you want to shoot at the ground in front of you and then have those zombies run over those lava puddles. Because if you just try to like randomly shoot it, those zombies might not run over those puddles and then you just wasted your shots and your ammo and that's not really something you want. So the best way to use the staff is to get a whole horde of zombies, round it up right behind you and then just kind of get them running in like a straight line and then shoot the staff in front of you. If you shoot it behind you, it might not activate in time and some of the zombies might actually run over those puddles before it actually activates. So you want to shoot the lava puddles in front of you and then just let all the zombies follow right behind you and you're gonna be good you'll be able to kill a lot of zombies and this thing is actually really good against the panzers I mean well all the staffs are really good but this one I think is a little bit better because when you actually just like regular shot and not like a charge shot it still shoots out like three projectiles so I definitely do think if you're using this staff it's a little bit easier to take out the panzers than some of the other ones or if you just want to waste the ammo you can always just full charge any staff and you're gonna be good so the last staff we're going to be looking at is going to be the Disappointment, the Lightning Staff. Now I'm not sure why Treyarch made all these other staffs really good and then made the Lightning Staff really, really shit. But on high rounds, the Lightning Staff isn't going to be able to do anything if you fully charge it. If you fully charge it and then shoot at the ground, like the zombies will get stunned and they'll get damaged, but they're not really going to die. You're going to have to use a lot of fully charged shots if you actually want to start killing zombies. The best way to actually use the lightning staff is just to regular shot it. On high rounds, you do not want to charge the staff, you just want a regular shot and just spam that over and over and over again. This weapon has enough ammo to where you actually can do that, and you will be able to get a lot of kills if you actually do this instead of charging the staff. 
So the lightning one is a little bit different. You just want a regular shot into a horde of zombies, eventually they'll go to crawlers, and then eventually they're actually gonna die. It's not gonna be quick or anything, but you still will actually be able to get a lot of kills if you do it like this instead of actually trying to fully charge it. And plus the staff is really good at like paralyzing the zombies and actually stopping them in their place for a couple seconds. So it's not completely useless, even though compared to the other staffs it is, but still on high rounds the staff can be somewhat useful as long as you use it right. Don't fully charge it, just use the regular ones, and you're gonna be good. So I'm very curious to know, which staff is your guys' favorite? Let me know in the comments, and if you guys could, please give a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.